Hey everybody, how's it going today? All right, I normally don't do these type of videos, so I'm just doing a face down, but a couple of weeks ago, I was reading an article and I came across this headset right here. Um, they're called the Mono Price Bluetooth 5 headset. They come with aptx uh bluetooth whatever anyways the claim was the claim was is these headsets they said for 60 dollars were pretty close to being compared to the sony wh 1000 x4 or the x5 those are 400 dollar headsets now sixty dollars four hundred dollars so i'll and, and the the article this is a very popular tech magazine and they completely blew it up. They were talking about these things like they were the best thing in the world. I was like, I've got to try these. Now, I use the Logitech G Pro X. These have a 50 millimeter driver in them. I'm not like, I'm not no sound expert, so I really can't tell you like all the megahertz and stuff. All I can tell you is one thing. These are Wi-Fi 2.4. I know enough about that. They have DTS and they have a 50 millimeter driver. These right here are only Bluetooth. They have around a 20 hour battery life. I think these probably have more like around a 12. And I think these have like a 40 millimeter driver in them. So, long story short, I opened them up. Now, $60 I picked these up for. These brand new, you can find them between them like, it depends if they're on sale, like maybe 150 maybe a little cheaper, 199 They're like $200 headsets. They're really nice looking. This is all like a plastic. I know it looks metal. This is all metal. They're very comfortable. They're a little bit heavy, but the sound quality on them is, is outstanding. They come with the pleather type ear padding as well you know on the inside it does say you know left and right as well as the material now i like the material because it doesn't start sweating on the side of your head which is a good thing it has a mute button it's usb c you have your power on power off as well as you can remove your microphone and the microphone quality is pretty good i don't bother using it because i have a mic sitting right on my desk already that's all kind of tuned up, up tuned in so, you know, I kind of just stick with that. So I ended up checking these out and I don't know. Now they're not a bad looking headset, I have to say. It comes with a little card, comes with a little manual in here that basically tells you how to put them on your head. I mean, I, I don't know what else you're supposed to get out of it other than charging time two and a half hours. You know, I'm not going to get it on to the frequencies and megahertz. These are Wi-Fi. One thing I know about the, the Logitech, the Wi-Fi, the distance that you can walk away from your machine is a lot further than you can with Bluetooth. Bluetooth is kind of a short range. Most people that are into headsets that are looking for quality are either listening to music or they're into gaming. In gaming, everybody wants to hear everything going on around them. The footsteps, the bullets, the raindrops, the puddles, whatever you might have. So you're always going to want good quality sound. So long story short, I hooked up the Bluetooth on these and I went into my game. And lo and behold, you can't use Bluetooth in games. My frame rate dropped down to about 30 frames. I tried to get it to work. I did every kind of setting I could do. As soon as I turned off the Bluetooth, tooth and I plugged it in using the 3.5 it cleared right up then I went online and I started doing a little bit of reading because like I said I, I'm not a sound expert um, by, by any means so I did a little bit of looking around and they said you don't want to mess with Bluetooth and be in games it destroys your frame rate so as far as sound goes they didn't sound half bad they didn't say, they didn't compare it to the Logitech so if they don't compare to the Logitech, they're not going to match them Sony's at it for $400. It's not going to happen. Now, it has an ANC button over here. I guess this is kind of like a boost button because I noticed when I turned it on, one went it got a little, little deeper, a little more bass. It doesn't come with material. It only comes with the pleather. Another thing that I didn't like about it, very narrow compared to my Logitech, which definitely helps with the distribution on your head instead of you know but these are lighter again i do like the design of them they're a nice clean look they obviously you can tell how they can lay flat you have your left and your right it comes with 
a 3.5 millimeter aux cable on the side so if you want to obviously listen through it put the sound through your computer which i had to do you have a little speaker over here you have a another charging this right over here is charging you're not going to get any any sound by plugging it in like with the logitech i can turn off the wi-fi and i can go straight power right in everything will go right through to the data cable on the on the USB C. another good feature this one doesn't have it you turn it off they're off it has an on off switch right here and you can see there's a few little lights another thing one thing i did like about it i mean it has a mute button over here one thing i did like about it is the, is the the button for the volume it seems to be a little easier to control than with the logitech you have the wheel so if you brush the side of your head i've i've like blown my eardrums out a few times but other than that, I would never, I would never get rid of these. These things are just outstanding. I love Logitech's. They're just, they're probably the best headsets I've ever had. And I know Logitech makes a couple other ones that are really nice too. So I, I'm going to like give this like probably like a, a zero on the Bluetooth because if you're, if you're a gamer, they're horrible. As far as sound quality goes, even with the 3.5 auxiliary cable plugged into it, it's only, I would say, at best, mediocre. I wouldn't say it's it's excellent. I'd say it's okay. It's good if you're going to listen to music. It's definitely more bassy for some reason, even though it's a smaller it's a smaller driver in here. I don't know why. The Logitech's got a 50. This has got a 40. And pretty much that's about it. The padding on here... Like I said, could be a little bit thicker compared to the Logitech's. It's it's pretty. It's nowhere near as cushy. No way. But the build quality on this right here is really nice. This is all metal. I like the way it swivels. It's nice and smooth. And that's gonna about wrap it up. Like I said, I'm really not big into this. I just because I thought if they were gonna be anything like those Sony, um, the Sony, yeah, they call them the Sony WH-1000XM4 or 5 series. Those are like four to four hundred and fifty dollars. Even on Amazon, that was like the lowest price I could find for the Sonys. Maybe someday I'll buy some of them. I'm, I'm no, I don't really spend that much time. Listening listening to things to want to spend that much money. I'm very satisfied with the Logitech. They had more than enough. My buddy actually ended up buying a pair and he really loves them. But as far as like, again, sound quality in these is, is mediocre. Nothing great. I wouldn't even compare it to the Logitech's. The build quality is not half bad. I think it would take a little while to get used to this. It's a thin, feels like a metal strip in there. And the big mistake, where the, wherever the slider goes on, they should have put it on the outside because there's like a little hump right in the middle of the, the metal support bar in there. So it slides in and out like that. Well, that's going to that's gonna sink into your head. They, they should have ran that on the outside. Um, I think that was probably a design flaw. Maybe they had to do it that way. I don't know. Like I said, again, I'm not no. You want to you wanna talk to a pro, go over to uh, Harris Heller's site there, Senpai, Senpai Gaming or whatever. It used to be Alpha Gaming. He's really not knowledgeable on that stuff okay so i'm gonna just wrap this up get it edited up later on i'll put it out there okay again please remember to um leave a like on the videos don't forget about the contest that's going on right now which is going to be ending tonight saturday the 27th this video may not even be out by then so be looking for the next video where it's going to be the razor ultimate viper cyberpunk 2077 special edition game and mouse that's going to be september's giveaway i've gotten a lot of inquiries on it so i'm looking forward to talking to you all then good luck to whoever enters i hope somebody got something out of this until next time peace out